universal stark roar is a type of sound effect that is used in all sorts of media including movies, TV shows, and probably music too, and is even heard outside of Hollywood media. Despite its name, it never really originated in the Universal Sound Effects Library, even though many people say it originated from their two films, The Lands Unknown and even The Deadly Mantis. It actually came from an elephant, of all things. In the 1937 short Circus Days, which was featured in a series of shorts called Happy Harmonies. And that's basically where it came from. That's just for people who basically don't know it. And for many people, they may know this roar was used up until the 70s when it was used for King Kong in the 1976 remake. Because beforehand, it was used for many monsters, especially dinosaurs. But till after 1976, a bunch of incarnations of King Kong mostly used this roar. But for me... I've always been trying to use it as a roar for one of my own monsters, Demon Ben. Now this is a past monster and it attempts to really make a movie and it came before Baragoras. If you don't know that, I can discuss in another video of what that is, but Demon Ben is something personal, along with Baragoras. But like I said, Baragoras became Armageddon, but I'll stick with Demon Ben for now. Demon Ben was meant to be this giant zombie similar to the Amazing Colossal Man the latter form, not form, the latter version of Amazing Colossal Man. And basically, he's supposed to have the Universal Stock War, or aka the Circus Day's elephant sound effects from MGM. But unlike many monsters, this creature, Demon Ben, at least my monster, was a giant zombie, similar to the Amazing Colossal Man of 1957 and 1968. I mean, 58. I was mainly inspired by B-movies, and just because some people shot it down doesn't mean I can't do it. I think I'll do it someday, and maybe I will include the Universal Star Corps. Bone knows. And also, when I was a kid, I first heard this actually in the land unknown, like many people would, and probably did. But when I first heard it, I thought it was exclusive to that movie as well. However, after hearing a bunch of other movies... I was shocked to know it was even stock. Plus, I was worried it wouldn't be original at all. Who would even call it original? It was not even my recording anyway. But I did want to make it a tribute to B-movies anyway, so who cares, right? Anyway, that's all I have to say about this sound effect. If I could do more videos like this in the future, I would, but I'm not going to. Because this is the only review of a sound effect I could make. Because it's my most favorite... Roar sound effects of all time, not because of the history, not even because of where it originated from, not even because of King Kong, mainly because of why I want to use it. Thank you all and see you next time.